Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground Pokemon, gotta catch them all Good morning! Morning! Welcome to... This is our annual tradition. We have this... How... Is this the third year we've been? Yeah. How did we even find this place? Um... I Do you know, know what? Really random. I feel like it came up on Facebook and I don't even use Facebook. Possibly. Some good things come up on Facebook though. I, you, still, I still browse Facebook. You like the videos on it? I do. We are They're very <laughs> weird, funny videos. Yeah, so we are going to Thought Pero today, which is kind of like a really big nature... Mm -hmm. Like, they have loads of trees that are like for specific seasons, don't they? Yeah. Like, they have like the autumn section they have where. Like the spring section with the honey blossom. And the daffodils down the middle. Cherry blossom. Honey blossom. Yeah, for summer. Yeah. And then. They do like different themed walks, don't they? Like, at Halloween, they've got a pumpkin walk with like skeletons in the river and stuff. Yeah. But then they've got like a summer, like, bee one. Yeah, Can't they've got the. What is it? The Easter one. Yeah, they've got the egg hunt as well. Yeah. So, obviously, the Halloween hunt is probably for kids. Probably. However. But do we care? We are technically. Children. <laughs> children who were somehow allowed to own a house because this week has been a week for us, hasn't it, Beb? Yeah. So, what has even happened this week? Um, didn't hammer the nail through the wall. So at the start of the week, well it was actually the weekend. Through a wire. I, I just wanted the nice pictures up in the kitchen and I was hammering away. They were all up, looked and, incredible. And let's just premise this beforehand, right? I told Din to like be extremely careful because we don't have one of them little me, 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 me things where you can feel the wire Detectors. in the wall. Yeah. Um, so I did say to Din like, whatever you do, just please be careful because you will go through a So wire. I kept shouting in, I was like, Babe, how close can you go to a light switch? And you were like, just be careful, babe. I was like, well, this is what I get for having a fiance who just lets me do, you know, just free will me, as yeah. I please. So I thought, I mean, it did say to just like stay away from light switches altogether, like all the way up and all the way across and like 15 yeah. centimeters all around it as well. Yeah. So I kind of did that, but actually, I didn't because it no. was the one, I'm going to go and show you in a minute, but it was the one that's like, it's actually ages away from the light switch. It's but It's all the way at the top of the wall. It's straight up from the light switch. So yeah. went through it and that was on like the morning, comes to the night, I had the lights on in here in the dining room and I was going to turn the kitchen light on and... Pop. Bang. So then I got a message at work saying, uh, hi babe, all the lights have gone off. And I was like, what do you mean all the lights have gone off? <sighs> well... Um, when I, the kitchen, I think I think I we have like, a problem. You've gone through a wire. Um, oh. So that was very stressful. I did cry because I just find things like it that. It comes in threes, don't they? I know. So we've had the roof, <laughs> the wire. No, we've had quite a few things in the house so far. Have we? Yeah, you forget what we've had. I think we've only had the roof and that. Oh, what about the kitchen sink leak where I'm on the floor on my hands and knees? Oh, yeah, with leak. towels, with my mum, with kitchen, oh, trying yeah. to dry this big kitchen leak kitchen up. Kitchen sink leak. While well, the dryer wouldn't turn off, the yeah. washer I mean. My face is feeling very dry. I'm going to leave you in the company of dinner. I'm going to go put some face moisturiser on. Okay, no worries. I had to cry. I was very stressed because it's one thing, like, the stress of the money. Obviously, you don't know how much it's going to be. You don't know how much damage you've actually done and etc etc and then i was really stressed about finding elec an electrician because we don't know any electricians and we've been sort of done over a little bit in this house when it come to the kitchen sink we got one person to do it it didn't go down well and then we had to get somebody else in which was like triple the price that we'd already paid and it was just a whole situation so i kind of have a fear now of cowboys and people just like doing us over especially when i know it sounds a bit daft but like when i'm in the house on my own i don't know obviously i'm a young girl not everybody is dodgy but there are some dodgy people so i just get the fear a little bit so there was that and i just got very overwhelmed and stressed and knew that i was gonna have to be the one that was going to be in when someone was coming to fix it and it was just a lot especially when you get stressed out about things like that naturally so yeah there was that and that was at the start of the week it got to monday when the guys were supposed to be coming they didn't show up because they had some issues they said they were coming tuesday morning 
didn't got to Tuesday afternoon, they still weren't here. I was a mess by this point because I was just like stressed to bits. I mean, anybody with anxiety. What, babe? Okay, no, you yeah, babe, will do. Um, yeah, anyone with anxiety will know that things like that just work you up. Like, I wasn't sleeping the night before, which I get really frustrated with myself because. I feel like I've come so far with it, but then at the same time, I can't control the physical aspects of it. Like, even mentally, when I'm telling myself, like, I'm absolutely fine, I can talk to people, nobody would know that I have anxiety or anything. Like, would the babe? Do you agree with that? Like, nobody would know that I have anxiety unless I tell them nowadays. I feel like I just come across really, like, I don't know. But yeah, you can't control like the physical parts of it. So that's what I was struggling with. So I didn't sleep, just wanted it over with, but it's all sorted now. The guys who came were actually really great. So if you're in our area and you are looking for an electrician, I will recommend them to you. Um, and then it got to Friday and I had a fall <laughs> upstairs on my own. I don't know how it happened. I literally went from one side of the room to the other and fell into like my metal tin storage. I've actually dented one of them. I'd like put my hand out to stop myself, like my head hitting off the, what's it called? Um, windowsill. And yeah, my hand is looking all right now. This is not bad at all. It's just got like a chunk out of it, but it's pretty well scabbed over now which is disgusting i don't even know why i'm showing you that and then my legs got the um the brunt of it so i've got a massive bruise my leg here that just looks disgusting it's still really swollen it's literally like the full size of <laughs> my leg i couldn't actually walk on friday it was one of the most painful things i've ever done and then i also done this knee to this one's more swollen than bruise i mean you can still see the bruise but it's mostly just swollen so that was that real situation it was one of them oh we're blurry nothing's on the phone to somebody i think yeah i feel like it was one of them where when it happened i was literally just on the floor and i felt you know that feeling of when you get like a carpet burn or like when you fall and graze yourself and your trousers are stuck to the like injury i honestly thought i was gonna like peel my trousers off and it was gonna all be stuck to me because it felt like that feeling but i took my trousers off and i was literally just let go and around the house on my own going ow ow and then took them off and there was nothing there and i thought am i passed out right now like am i the pain that i'm feeling is not matching up to the lack of injuries but obviously as the day went on the bruise is shown i had a bag of onions bag of frozen onions on it but yeah we're still looking pretty bad but it's healing well and i can sit better now and sleep better in bed because i'm like a side sleeper and because obviously it's on like my leg when i'm laid on that leg it hurts and then when i'm laid on the side of my knee it hurts and it's just a real situation but could have been worse I got some really cute flowers out of it. I don't know if that was blurry that I should probably look when I'm talking to you. Nathan got me these flowers. He got me the gorgeous yellow roses and then how these are the best things I've ever seen. I was literally just stood there when he gave me them. I was like, oh, I couldn't believe the rainbow gypsophilia or somebody, people call this something else. I can't remember. Baby's breath, is it? I think so. Anyway, gorgeous rainbow flowers and then i obviously told my mum what happened too and then she popped around before i went to work with these <laughs> great minds think alike rainbow jip and then she also got me some other ones in the kitchen oh also we've lost a picture and it's fell down <laughs> the back of the fireplace so we cannot retrieve it so i need to i think i have another one that will go there like a pinky one because it needs to match the other two but i don't know it's my own fault because i've literally like look that one's coming off as well and once they fall if they go straight down the back of that there's no saving it my mum got me these gorgeous pink roses and i have no idea what this is but it's one of my favorite flowers and it's really cheap like you can get this on its own i think it's like three pound or something so yeah another one of my favorites 
the sun is shining today as you can see the birds are tweeting and we're gonna have a really gorgeous day what i've got the reference number for our penalty <gasps> oh <laughs> <laughs> i said i was like i think nothing's on the phone that's another thing last week so when we went to the bookshop you only transferred oh. me 16 pounds and 10 pence <laughs> to the bookshop <laughs> we went through the time tunnel which stupidly obviously you get a charge which is like two pound on it's really nothing but on the way it literally is just a sign saying please pay by tomorrow midnight or something and i went on the website i was like god how do you even pay this i was literally just searching like time tunnel pole charge or whatever and then I was getting really like travel sick because I get car sick and I was like, I can't go on my phone trying to find how you pay this. And I was like, I'll do it when we get home. That was obviously a week and a half ago. Did we pay it? No, we didn't. So we've already got a fine of £30. £32.50. Oh my God, <laughs> £32.50 fine. And then we were panicking because it says you're supposed to get sent a letter and if you don't pay within two weeks, it then goes up to a £60 charge. <laughs> so we were panicking, being like, well, we've got no letter with like a reference number on to pay it, so that's what Nathan's doing now. What did what did what was it like automated or in person? No, no, person. What did you say? Hey, I forgot to pay my toll charge. Hey, we stupid little asses. <laughs> forgot to pay. Cause oh, you know, it's just one of them things. And we just won't pay because I don't want to be charged for fucking sixty quid. Oh god. How funny, Babs, how funny. We finally have the bookshelf. When are you going to build that, Babs? I'm going to build it tomorrow, I think. Tomorrow? Yeah. Nice. I had a couple of Amazon deliveries yesterday. I got a top up of the moisturiser that I use, the L'Oreal Hydrogenius... Uh, hi Did I say that right? Hydrogenius aloe water i get the dry and sensitive skin one soup it's literally like putting water on your skin this isn't it babe yeah it so is my hair seems to be like snapping more recently and it just seems really like thinner around the front than usual so we've got the trusty garnier ultimate blends banana hair food i was gonna get the coconut one because that's for frizzy hair which i've had frizzy hair for as long as what's that saying as long as i can remember um, but yeah, I used to use this a while ago and then I just stopped using it But clearly my hair needs a nice hair mask So I'm gonna do that later. I, I prefer to use it on dry hair and then maybe once a week I'll do it as a normal conditioner in the shower, but I put it on like a few times a week just on the ends of my hair and then I got these two books because This one I've been eyeing up for a while and it was 250 on Amazon. So I thought why not and i know it's really well reviewed so i got that one and then this was a book two that i didn't even know was a thing and she's also got a book three coming out but i don't think that comes out until 2024 so hopefully i mean maybe i should have read this first to check that i liked it and then ordered the book two but um i am just very impulsive Especially on Amazon with Prime, it's dangerous, so... Oh yeah, the shoe cupboard's still a mess from the electricians, because... Because I, I, <laughs> I did say, I was like, the electrician's going to come around and he's going to go in the fuse board, so it's probably the best idea to actually move the shoe rack. I said, I was it's like... it's a flimsy little shoe rack anyway. I was like, so sorry lads, I didn't actually move all the stuff in there, just shove it all out the so way. So sorry lads. Oh, so sorry lads. <laughs> No! Can't you lunge me? It's your foot it fell over, isn't it? <laughs> I didn't actually call them lads, I was like, I'm so sorry. Of course, bet you did. So sorry, gentlemen, is that oh, what you want me to say? Sorry lads, uh, I forgot to move the uh, thing under that cupboard, didn't I lads? Oh lads, don't want a tea lads. I didn't actually offer them a drink because... That's rude. They're only here 10 minutes. You should always offer somebody a drink. What am I going to offer them? The fridge was empty. The tea? You don't drink coffee. What? Oh, do you want a tea? Oh, yeah, go on then. Uh, milky. Oh, sorry, I only have oat milk. And they'll go, oh, no, I'm all right, thanks. Oh, exactly, yeah. I'd rather not deal with the embarrassment <laughs> of them going, what oh, What shoes would you like, no. Helen? Helen? Melon. Did you just call me Helen? Who the hell's Helen? <laughs> <laughs> Melon. Oh, Helen. <laughs> Melon, I said. Um, Little melon head. That smells great. <laughs> Babe! 
I think just my converse. Which one? Just my green ones. It's gonna have to be because oh, are my cream boots in there? I might try them. Anyway, I was gonna show you my outfit. Cream I have my boots. granny jumper on. Cream boots. Yeah. Are they in there? Yeah. yeah, I've got my granny cardigan on. My granny dress. My cream boots look like. What do my cream boots look like? Well, the cream and the boots. Alright, okay. <gasps> These ones. Are the cream and are the boots? You shut up. <laughs> look at that fat ass. <laughs> Stop it, my ass crackling up. These. Yeah. <coughs> Check the spiders. <gasps> Careful, the muddy. Well, why would you say it as you're passing me then? Check for spiders. You gotta check them. You can check them for me, please. Pick up in the mud up, Evie. No. You're gonna rub it in the floor. I won't. I'll hoover it. Stay in this floor in here. Well, you better get your mop out, better you. No. Crush. Crush. Crush since 1970. What are you talking about? This is what these shoes are. Oh. Right, that one's fine. Anyway, we're gonna be late if we don't go so. <sighs> I'm not good at this. <laughs> We've just shopped up, shopped. We've, I don't know what this lighting is. We've just stopped at the garage because Nathan needed to get a car charger thing because he's lost yet another one. Yeah. How many of them have you bought in your time? Too many to count. Ridiculous. And he asked if I want, sorry about this light. He asked if I wanted anything and I, I don't. Then he said no, I don't. But he really didn't get me anything. <laughs> oh, you're in a Stop surprise it. or a treat. Stop it, I'll go back in. I'm joking, I actually don't want anything. You are going to be jealous though when I'm drinking. I am going to be jealous. I'm so excited to go here. I'm so excited to get my hot chocolate and sprinkles and cream. I'm excited for you though. I'm going to get a jacket potato. Sandwich. Jack of potato. The cheese and beans. The drinks are secured. We both got hot chockies, but Nathan doesn't like cream no. <laughs> and sprinkles. I on like his, cream, so. but only in a trifle. We get that in it. Okay. It's that type of cream I like. Type of cream. <laughs> and we just stood by the autumny trees. We've got this little one. Well, it's not real. Well, it is little, that one. It's a little it's a cute, cute one. Tree. And then this is the usual one, but all of the leaves aren't actually brown yet. Must be taking a little longer this year to um. It's not autumn yet, though. Brown up. Yeah, because it it's not. Oh, you yeah, joking? It's, October, it's nearly Halloween. <laughs> This one's usually like all orange by this point, but we've still got some green, so... What's going on, tree? What's going on? But we're in the cute little tree bit. I like them ones, I like the blue ones. Love, love them Christmas ones. Eve. They are super Christmassy. We've never been at Christmas. We haven't done the Christmas walk. We'll I do think... that this year. We'll do <laughs> I was that. just going to say, I think when we've got kids, we'll do the Christmas. No, we'll do that this year. Because it's like Santa in his workshop and everything. Right, we'll do that this year. You're going to sit on Santa's knee. Absolutely. <laughs> This is me and Nathan next year. <laughs> That's what Nathan just said. <laughs> Aww. Drunken sailor, what shall we do with the drunken sailor? shop is done and we're feeling a little bit peckish and we have something to do after this we've just bought a christmas tree and we need to see we've already got one on order that was double the price and it's only an extra point not point five in feet and yeah double the price so we're really hoping that this one that we've just bought is gonna look because it looks slightly like skinny on the box and just a bit underwhelming but we're really hoping that it's going to be all right because that means we'll be saving a lot of money and we can spend that money on the lights because christmas lights aren't cheap for a tree are they well christmas trees in general i've already said this but they're so expensive um anyway we need some fuel before we attempt to put the tree up we're not putting it up for real we're just putting it up to see what it looks like but i've seen these they came up on my pinterest 
Where are they? Did I print screen it? I think I did. Also, we had a gorgeous time at Thought Pyro. It's just one of the most incredible, peaceful, calming places. There's benches everywhere for you to sit down. Like we had a few little stops and just sat. So I've seen these on Pinterest. Spooky grilled cheese. And I'm gonna give it a go because I feel like I can do that and it's gonna look like that, isn't it? Absolutely, I can't wait. Absolutely, so I'm thinking, do I? I'm gonna leave you to it and see how you go on. <laughs> I don't know whether to just fry them or to put it in the toaster, put it together and then fry it. My head's not even... Uh-oh. Yeah, my head's not even in that. Also, they didn't have the toasty bread, so we had to just get the Warburton's normal medium soft white loaf. Two for me. And two for also, if you think you can see any dirt around our oven, just no, you can't because it needs cleaning. So we're just gonna pretend that it's not there. I don't. Can you actually see what I'm doing? There. <laughs> Butter's still melting on the top, but here they are. Let's have a look. <laughs> oh my god. Do you want any sauce with them? Uh, no, thank you, baby. You sure are? They look unbelievable. Don't even dare you both. One's mine, greedy. No, I'm having them both. No, you're not having them both. These are both mine. No, they're not. One's both mine. Both you don't want they any look sauce? They're so good. They're no, cute, aren't they? They're so good. Had to Which put them in the yours? act fry because the cheese wasn't melting properly in the pan. Which one's yours? You can pick. Thank you. Grilled cheese, man. Fingers crossed about this tree because... Do I have high hopes? I'm not going to lie, I really don't. Don't break No, up. I'm Maybe not breaking it. Listen, so these bits pull out and these bits pull off. We've got some candles as well on the food shop. Just some little cheap Tesco ones because we've used Cheers. those. Because we've used up the candy cane one. Oh, and the Yankee Autumn Pearl is nearly gone as well. So we needed a couple to get us through the season until we get our Christmassy ones. Which won't be long. Won't be long. I think Asda have some incredible Christmas candles. Do they? Oh, this is the one that hasn't been in the fridge. It's warm. Oh, man. Mine are all warm. Bottom, middle, top. No, this is the bottom. Oh, okay, so this is the middle. Mm -hmm. So, oh. We're building a Christmas tree. <laughs> oh, he's gonna see us. <laughs> Packages at this hour? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Oh, it's my Amazon delivery man. You always order me. I'm not always ordering, man. It's if actually. If we this tree, man, don't forget to transfer them to twenty pound, man. If you calm down, man, it's actually my granddad's Christmas baubles for his tree because he needed some new no, ones. No, what you doing, man? I'm putting the top of the tree. Why are you doing that? It's not even put in the bottom. You're gonna have to hold it. Yeah. Wait till this is all, man. But the thing then is, you can man. Build it in this. But the thing is, man, I just want to see the hive and how full it looks. Just put this in here, man. What's your what's no? That's not here. the bottom, man. That's not the right bit. Well, hold you that. You said man. that's the bottom. Just hold that, man. I was holding it. You just took it off me. Oh my God! A branch is broke. Oh my God, man! A branch. Oh, this is proof, man. It was already broke. We didn't break it. Wait. That don't go in, man. Why, man? Yeah, have I got the bottom? I told you this was the bottom. No. Why? This is the bottom. <laughs> Are you trying to wind me up, man? No, man. Wait, how's that going, man? Maybe that bit that you've got in your hand goes underneath there, man. Yeah, it does. Just don't snap anything, man. In case we've got to return it. Wait, how's that going? We're in a bit of a situation here. Oh, 
Because you're trying to build it while you got hold of it, man. Because I haven't got any patience, you man. You silly idiot, man. I haven't got no patience. I want things done and I want them done now. It doesn't have to be perfect, man. I just want to see how big it is. Okay, man. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I'm not sure about this. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, what? oh, I'm not sure about this. It's a decent oh, height. It's a good height. Nathan said I'm not allowed to show you anymore because this is supposed to be an autumn vlog, but she's up and we think we're sat on her. She's little on the skinny side. She this is. is this is uh, thingy to the theme as well. Oh, yeah, there's a little hint to the theme. <laughs> um, Slightly skinny, but... We feel like she looks perfect in this room, and like the price. for the price. Like she was literally like forty-five pound. Like that's incredible. Um, so are we sold on her? Are we sold? The other tree does come tomorrow. The other tree does come tomorrow, but I know if we take the other tree out and she's thicker, we're gonna be like. So uh, I'm thinking, do we just be like sensible adults and just and decide think, that for our you know, first Christmas in our first home, this tree is perfect and for half of the price? Because it is perfect. Look at look at her. It's going to be cute. With all of her lights and her baubles. And we said like on the little stool we can put. So much bigger now that we've got this chair here. I know. And the thing about this chair here. The room does look bigger. Is I feel like it slightly ruins the rainbow. And it I looks more look, like a sofa I bed. It like a pot of gold at the end of it. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we'll end up liking it there. But maybe when it's you've had that thing when christmas comes on you take all your decorations down and, you move and you're like back to um why does it look bare yeah why is the no like, our room isn't bare it's not it. no so with a christmas tree it's going to look even more full full and then so when, when you take, take that, that down we're going to think uh, <laughs> let's get to ikea in january and buy another plant <laughs> <laughs> you can probably hear but nathan is just putting the tree back in the box and hoovering up all the snow that's fell off because I know we love Christmas, but even October is too early for us to put a tree up. So I've come upstairs in the studio, brought my um, Pepsi with me, and I'm gonna work through a couple of orders that I've got to do so that they can be posted tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's looking a bit of a mess in here. What is Kayla texting me? Oh, we've named the tree Trina, and no. We've named ours Teresa and Kayla's named hers Teresa because she's bought the same tree. My hair is looking a little bit wild by this point. The sky looks beautiful outside, I'll show you. I do a couple of orders and then we can go downstairs and chill for the rest of the night. just come on to end this vlog i am exhausted as you can probably see i'm so tired but have you had a nice day babe? i've had a beautiful day have it's you? been the cutest little autumn day at one of my favorite places ever we love thought peril just love it so much i feel like it's been quite a short vlog but hopefully you've enjoyed anyway Close your eyes. and the next vlog will be <laughs> pumpkin picking because we're going pumpkin picking on wait. Wednesday so that's gonna be I can't wait to pick a pump a th pick a pump pick a pump I think we'll do like a two-day vlog as well and film like our little cute bacon day and stuff oh that'll be cute be cute won't oh, yeah, it I'm making school sprinkle cake of course he's making school sprinkle cake of course, yeah. so yeah we're just gonna chill for the rest of the night but we wanted to come on and end it so hopefully you've enjoyed watching thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video bye yeah.